Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Guess this reading was inspired by one of our channel members. Yes, yes, thank you to our channel member that inspired it. It's a good, a good reading to go on. Um, if you'd like to uh, suggest or request uh, readings, topics for me to read on for everyone, uh, first level membership, uh, makes that a priority <laughs> your suggestions your requests are a priority second level membership gives you access to all the new readings i normally try to get them out a week ahead third level membership gives you access to all the extended readings this reading will come with an extended so if it resonates for you and you feel like you want to go deeper uh, with this person's energy uh, the link will be in the description box uh -huh. and that is the third level membership let's jump in guys let's see what's going on for my Aquarius let's find out why your person what might be blocking them or preventing them from actually coming and just speaking their mind face to face just just do it just do it <laughs> let's find out what's standing in the way of this this is for my Aquarius. Can we get the current energy on their person? Current energy on Aquarius's person. Ooh, we definitely got a slow moving energy. Yes, we do. We got Virgo, a Knight of Pentacles, or Prince of Pentacles. Hmm. Very practical, slow moving. Can, uh, considers everything, <laughs> all the little details of what actions they want to take before they take them. Mm -hmm. They evaluate risk, detail. They got to know the minute of everything before they actually take action. But let's see what they're moving so slow on. Princess of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. This person, guys, we're getting earth energy through here. But uh, whether it's their son or not, they are very slow and they are hesitant. Page of Pentacles is like the babe in love that says, I'm not getting in that arena until I'm clear about something. So somebody is sitting on, on uh, talking to us. They want to, but they're evaluating things. Um, and they're at standstill. Stand, very much standstill. Is there anything else we can clarify on current energy? Four swords going reverse. Ah, guys, mm, current energy is insinuating with the four swords reversed. You know, that's private. I'm going into private mode. <laughs> yeah, I ain't talking to nobody. It's rest, recuperation, recovery, that kind of thing. And you know when you get sick, if you get physically sick, you, you don't want to hang out with people, you know, with your runny nose and all that crap. Uh, this is insinuating because it's, it's come up reverse as the person is getting ready. They're actually getting ready to come out of that private mode of, I, I think I've, I'm clear about it. I think I'm clear about it what it is they were pondering and uh considering so hard so they are definitely getting ready to to start opening up and talking they're get they've got the clarity in their mind let's i want to put them at like emperor but let's go ahead and see what's blocking them right now what's been blocking them Ooh, making a commitment. <laughs> we got a commitment phobe here. We got the lover's card, guys. Lover's card is about making a choice, making a decision. That is a major decision. Uh, it's a major arcana card, so it's insinuating this person. This is They feel like this is going to affect their life from this point on to make this decision. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so it's like, do I want to commit to it or not? The person is taking it serious. Let's see what else been blocking. The, uh, the uncertainty, the feeling off balance of how is this going to change my life, the circumstances in my life if I commit to this, if I choose to do this, how will it change things for me? So that, you know, no wonder they, they went slow. What else has been blocking them? Just feeling off balance. Ooh. 
Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, this person is taking something really serious, a decision um, about making a commitment, about a connection with you. Very, very serious because they are like, what, what do I, what will change in my life? What do I need to change about myself? What's going to happen? What will happen uh, to us if, if I, you know, commit to this? Ooh, guys. <laughs> so yeah, think expansion. I'm off balance. I'm dizzy. I need to stand still. I need to stand still. I need to stop for a minute until I can calm it down calm my brain down a little bit and some of the stress factors because it does show them over here moving slow all in their head mm -hmm. chariots on the bottom of the deck wow this is major for this person mm -hmm. they just ain't ready to talk about it yet they got to get straight with their self whatever's going on because like i said they're questioning what needs to change? What will change if I make this decision, if I commit to this, if we commit to this, what's going to happen? Hmm. Safety net. they like, I need to know a little bit ahead of time uh, the possibilities of this and what, what's going to happen. Wow. Is there anything else that's been bothering them that blocks them from actually speaking? Ooh, guys, <laughs> look, you got your feminine energy out here, Libra, Aquarius, your feminine side. And look, lover's card in the background. I love the cosmic tarot, yeah. See? Lover's card in the background. Uh, this one is saying that um, th they may feel like y you are n not connected, not on the same heart length, wavelength as they are. Because, uh, you know, Libra energy is like, I'm in my head. <laughs> I'm going to go with what's logical and sensible. I don't like to get drunk in love. But they may also be worried that you, yourself, seriously, aren't looking for a serious commitment. Mm. And that may be what's been holding them back from talking. Is feeling like, you know, they want it. But you don't. They want the commitment. But maybe you don't. Are they reading your energies right, Aquarius? Don't know. It was just maybe your body language. Uh, things you say. Uh, uh, how you respond to them. Things like that. That blocks them from actually pouring their heart out. Because that lover's card is going to have them not trying to pour their mind out to you. But their heart out to you, their true feelings to you, and but you you are like at a distance. You may be, you know, got them at a distance, arm length, going mm, no. <laughs> it, it, whatever it is, it's giving them the impression that you're not open to that, that you're not really interested in that when they really are. Anything else? That you want to talk about Aquarius here, their energy. Yo, look, they got you very logical. <laughs> oh, the way you communicate to them, uh, definitely. That's Gemini, Knight of Swords, Prince of Swords. Uh, they pulling all your intellectual <laughs> energies. The way you communicate, the way you're coming across to them is like uh, detached, emotionally detached, not interested. It is, yeah, it's cool to hang out. It's cool. Let's stay friends, that kind of thing. But this person wants more. And, 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 but, but is putting them in a position of very vulnerable. When we start looking at your energy from their perspective, because this is their perspective, you're cold, you're emotionally detached, you're not really, you know, we'd, we'd be like friends, that kind of thing. When we come back and look at these cards, it's, it's really, it's almost like somebody crushing on you, uh, or, or actually in friend zone. And they're worried if they pour this out to you, how does that change? Will you will you immediately like cut them loose? You'd be like, uh-uh, no. Let me let me pull unsheathe my sword. We're gonna cut some cords. Uh, that may be one of their biggest worry is how will it change you if if they become authentic and pour it out to you that they you know they serious. 
they seriously <laughs> want uh, a commitment with you as something how is it going to change you? How cold are you going to be towards them? And are you going to cut them loose completely? Because it feels like crush energy of, I don't want to ruin my position with you right now. If it, they're in friends only, it's like, I don't want to ruin that. But I want more. And if you don't want more and you cut me loose, I can't even be your friend. I can't even get close enough to be your friend. That's devastating when we're crushing. Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. so they're definitely worried about ruining the connection there's a lot of passion and fire on the bottom of the deck here <laughs> yes that insinuates a phys physical magnetism and draw towards you but they are definitely wanting it's not just let's put it this way it's not just sex <laughs> yet that i would want um uh, intentions let's see what their intentions are because we do have them uh, coming out of that four swords what's their intentions uh let's put it on a 30 day within a 30 day what's their intention who will of fortune i'm gonna take a chance mm -hmm. i'm gonna take a chance what else what else oh but they want to take a chance. In, in 30 days, they're going to be battling with their self. <laughs> yeah. It could happen sooner, guys. But I did want to put a time frame on it for you. Of how quick are they going to open up. Because they are coming out of their head. They're coming out of, I want this. I'm willing to take a chance. But I'm worried about the karma. I'm worried about... They're worried about you cutting them, cutting them off forever. It'll be like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll call you. Don't call me. <laughs> that kind of thing. And then you block their ass. Because this is sudden destruction that they're really worried about. Hmm. Positive side of their brain. What's it saying? Just do it. World card. Look at the major arcanas, guys. This guy, whoever this is, they are serious. It's like, just do it. Just do it. Because I, I can't just stay your friend forever. I need more than that. I can't just be your friend because of, there's this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bottom of the deck, judgment. Look at the major arcanas coming out. This is serious <laughs> for this person. And they're, they're worried that you'd be like, no, this was just, you know, fun to hang out, friends. You know, that kind of thing. Even if it's friends with benefits, it was just fun. They, they really don't think you, you want anything to do with them on that level, on the level that they want. But they don't want to lose the, you know, being able to be in your world. Uh, and that's their biggest fear. So that's what's holding them back, guys, is ruining what we already have because I want more. And I don't want to ruin having anything with you. Ooh. Dang. Okay. Let's let's see if they want to put some energy onto a deck and give you a message onto it. Wow. We taking it, guys. We taking it. Uh -huh. Heart of the Phoenix deck. This is for my Aquarius, their person. Anything you want to say? Anything? Ooh, it's sweet energy though, guys. It's like a smooth, sweet energy, but there's a little tad bit of nervousness to it. <laughs> if I had to describe their energy right now. Talk to us. Mm -hmm. Change their mind. Oh, I promise I'll never let go. I promise I'll never let go. Oh, okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. It tears me apart to think that I could lose you forever. Bam. Please don't give yourself to anyone else. Yeah, that's their, that's what's holding them back. If if I say the wrong thing, I'll lose you forever. I won't even get to be your friend. That's sad. <laughs> Guys, what else? I check your social media all the time. May not be for all of us, guys, but they do try to... Uh, keep up because it's like please don't give yourself to anyone else and that's exactly if you put those those messages together that's exactly what they're 
looking for evidence of is there someone else are you interested in someone else that would shoot them down so badly and if if they even suspected they it would shoot them right back into the i'm not doing it <laughs> i'm not doing it because uh, i want to be able to communicate with you uh -huh. it would devastate them though yeah anything else mm -hmm. My feelings for you are growing, but I'm afraid to show it. I'm listening way too much to my head rather than my heart. To my head rather than my heart. Anything else? Mm -hmm. There is so much more going on than you realize. Don't confuse my silence for not loving you or wanting you. Ooh. <laughs> love that one guys like i said if it resonated for you and you want to go deeper the link for the extended is in the description box and if you're not interested no shade thank you for supporting the channel and and always showing up and watching guys yes y'all stay blessed